how are you? What is it today? One of them ones, Monday the 21st. Um, yes, it's Monday the 21st of December and um, strictly finished on Saturday night. And since then I have found myself um, more narky than usual, which is quite narky at the best of times. And I, I had the great misfortune to go into town yesterday and anyone with a scrap of sense would avoid town on the Sunday before Christmas like the plague. But I obviously don't have a scrap of sense. Also, I was spending quality time with my beloved niece, Emma, and we went to see a worthy film, um, an indie film called Grandma with um, Lily Tomlin. And you won't have heard of it because nobody has heard of it because it's an indie film, do you see? And it was made for £4.70. But anyway, it was really, really, really nice. And we really liked it and we bonded bigly. And then we gave out yards um, because you know, the way that there is no baby changing facilities in the men's changing rooms. And I said, Emma, one of the things, in my opinion, that really holds women back is that childcare is regarded as solely the preserve of women. So we had a good owl give out and it was really nice. And we had sweets and it was marvellous. And then we went to Grafton Street and I decided we'd cut through Brown Thomas's because I love Brown Thomas's. But anyway, God almighty, you should have seen them at the Joe Malone um, counter. It was like a Red Cross feeding station. Like people were bananas. Like they were shoving and clamoring and there was people wrapping presents and they looked like the way you'd imagine, um, you know, people on a slave ship or something like that. It was awful. Um, anyway, so then I got very narky and she went off then and then I was so narky that I thought I better go home. Um, but then I really wanted chips really, really, really badly. So uh, so I went to McDonald's and I ordered me twisty fries and then I had to order a cheeseburger because for the sake of appearances, but I only really wanted the carbs, do you see? I suppose, you see, himself wasn't there and I didn't want to go home because there was no Strictly, do you see? Um, so, um, but then there was a delay on my twisty fries and I was in a fowler. Anyway, but anyway, it's all grand, it's all grand. Um, so uh, what can I tell you? Oh yes, right, regarding the scribing, do you know I was telling you about doing the word count and I was trying to get a thousand words done a day? Well, that kind of came to a big halt and I'll tell you why. Because I was moving forward with a kind of a story and characters and stuff like that and this doesn't work for me. I can't go forward without going down. So what I've been doing now is I've been going deeper into my character, my main character, Amy, and I would use the phrase I've been drilling down into her, except that makes me really narky at the moment because I'm very narky. So I won't say it, but if I wasn't made narky by the phrase, I would say that I'm drilling down into Amy. So sometimes you have to, well, I have to go down into my character before I can go forward. So this has been interesting, like getting to know the kind of woman she is and, and her approach to relationships, you know, not just with her husband um, and, and her ex-husband, but with her family. And for me, this is what truly makes a book interesting. I mean, it's what I like about writing, I suppose. So I haven't been making any forward progress, but I have been making downward progress. And that you know, everybody is different. And I suppose for me, the books I write, I would really like to present a very rounded um, set of characters and, and rounded all the way down. Um, so that's where I've been. So it's frustrating in one way because in fact, many days I can end with less word count than I started because I'm getting rid of stuff. And for me, there's no point writing. She did this and she did that and she did the other, unless it feels authentic. And it was starting to not feel authentic. So that's that's just my tip for the day. Um, if you are trying to scribe and you're wondering why it feels hollow or you're wondering, you know, you don't know where to go. Sometimes I have to go back before I can go forward. So what else can I... Oh, right, now look it. I'm sorry about this and I'm sorry to break it to you in, in, in the wake of Strictly Finishing and everything. But... This will probably be my last regular vlog for a while because I'm going away. Yes, 
I'll be away for most of January, yeah, nearly all of January. I'm going to the Southern Hemisphere. I'm going to Australia because my lovely friend Posh Kate, her daughter is getting married in Australia. And so I'm going for the wedding with him, that there himself. And then we're going on to New Zealand and I will be doing some work in New Zealand, which will be very nice. And I did offer to do work in Australia, but I was told everybody is away for January, so there's no point. So I did offer Australian people. I am really sorry. And I said, I'd love to do events and everything. They said, that's very nice of you, but nobody will be here. So I'm only telling you what I was told. Um, so we will be doing the vloggy things, but it won't be kind of every Monday. It'll be, because we'll be moving around and it'll be to do with the ability to upload and that sort of a thing and the things that come in the air the wi-fi and the bandwidth and them sort of things and i just wanted to show you a couple of things before i go now hold on whenever i go to the sun i do get the cold sores well i get the cold sores a lot anyway and anyway sally hughes told me to start taking this this here lysine um so i have been and i haven't got a cold sore in absolutely ages um so i don't know there you are. And um, another thing I wanted to show you was I did a makeup course, um, just a half day course in Makeup Forever. Now this is absolutely, this is kind of like miracle sauce, I think. Um, it's a concealer and it goes on under your foundation. I'm going to show it to you. It's blue. It is blue. Um, do you see? It is blue, but it cuts both redness and purpleness I have found because you know the way I have red chinitis and red noseitis and I was putting on the green con concealer and it was kind of leaving a kind of a grey ashy finish but this this kind of leaves a lovely snow white whitey but not white do you see kind of like blue white do you see it's very very nice and then I put it on the purple circles under my eyes. Now I know I probably look like un Uncle Fester right now, but I would look worser Uncle Festery if I didn't have this lovely blue gear on me. And it's very smooth. It goes on very smooth. It rubs in lovely and smooth. Um, and it's very nice for the under eye area because it's so smooth. So it doesn't kind of take up residence in the wrinkles under the eyes. Um, just now I paid good hard cash for all of these things now I'm I'm not I'm not in the pay of some sinister overlord and I just wanted to show you one more thing which um it's another makeup thing right it's by who do you call that crowd Urban Outfitters once again um I paid good hard cash now you see this here this is a kind of a sparkly eyeshadow you see and it's very nice now I'm going to show you and and it's not, you see, I was using it for a highlight, but actually you can use it all, all over the lid. Um, right, I'm putting it on my lovely Kira Daily brush here. Now I'm going to rub it on the back of my hand. Now do you see, it comes out nice-ish, you know, but a bit kind of sparse, you know. And it's a bit grand. But hold on now, hold on. I'm going to show you this here magic spray. Also by Dear Urban Decay. Right, now I have another brush here. Another Kira Daily one. Right, I'm going to, to spray this here brush. Aye. See? One little spritz there. Now I'm going to go again on my glittery eyeshadow. I might have made it a bit too wet there now. I make the mistakes so that you don't have to. So do you see, it's much more, how would you call it, dense and solid. So that you get the, the opportunity to have the two finishes. There you are. Um, so yes. So it'll be a while before I'm able to do these regular Monday chats um, again. But in the meantime, um, do your best to get through this wretched, wretched, wretched Christmas business. Um, eat things. Um, now, when it comes to January, please don't be mean to yourself. I, I find it bizarre that we have to make New Year's resolutions at the coldest time of year, when we are needing food and comfort um decide if you must 
one thing that would make you happier. Um, if like me, you constantly battle with fatsoness, if you decide that this year you'd like to be less of a fatso, then make plans that are realistic and just make one resolution. Don't decide that you're going to grow six inches in height and that you're going to learn Japanese and Mandarin and Russian. You know, pick one language if you must. Uh, maybe something nice and easy like Spanish. I'm sure everyone can speak Spanish. I mean, obviously it's easy for me to say that because I'm fluid in so many languages, but it's Spanish. Or, or pick a lovely Scandinavian one. But like, be kind to yourself. We are so brutal to ourselves. Um, and we really try our best. I mean, this is how I feel, that like anything I do that like, that ultimately hurts me, like eating too much sweets, it's only because I have no choice at the time. And it's only when the burden of being too much of a fatso gets too much, you know, that the choice becomes that I'll decide, okay, I'll knock off the, the Percy Pigs for a while. Uh, pick one thing, that's all I'm saying. Pick one thing that will make you happy and and enjoy as best you can. Get some sleep, um, go for a walk, get out of those hot, noisy houses. Um, if you've got people coming home, enjoy them. And I'll be back at the end of January, but I will be sending things in the meantime, but they'll be sporadic and unexpected. And sometimes they'll give you a nice surprise on the 15th of January or one of them kind of days, you know. So thank you so much for your kindness to me uh, during the past year. I just want to tell you, the woman who stole my life has been in the top 10 in Ireland for the past seven months. A tank new, tank new, tank new. These are very decent. And it did, it did really well in England as well and, and in the other countries in, in, in the world and Scotland and Wales. I'm sorry, I should have said Britain. Um, and um, yes, thank you again. And you mind yourselves. And I will talk to you at the end of January. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Bye, thanks. Hello, I'm back. I forgot to say about my hair. Do you like my hair? I was channeling Princess Leia. I know that I should have done it really on the years, but still, I'm very pleased. I learn it myself. I learn it from my website. I learn it from the pool. You know the pool? The pool is a great website. Do you see? Don't look too much at the top at the clips, but still. Thanks. Bye. I'm going again now. Bye, bye, bye. Thanks.